Hey guys, it's Bria. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about brands on a budget. So I love shopping. And for me, if I'm looking for something specific and I really want to invest in a good piece of clothing or accessory, I look at all my options. So I'm, I have a bunch of things here and I'm going to be telling you where I got them from, what the original price is, and how much I got them for. So if you're interested in learning these tips, then keep on watching. First off, I have a Calvin Klein robe. It just has the logo on the front, and it's really simple. It's really light and airy. It's awesome for sleeping or for getting out of the shower, doing makeup, whatever. And I got this at Marshall's. Now, the original price for one of these was $68, and I got it for $16. Calvin Klein is a super popular brand. It's not a super high end, you know, retail, but for a $68 robe, and I paid $16 for it, you can't go wrong. And when you're looking in there, there Marshalls, TJ Maxx, places like that, they have a lot of odds and ends of different brands and so I like to really take my time, pick through everything, see what I can find, what I like, if it's a good deal, if I'm going to wear it a lot, if I'm going to use it a lot, and if it's a really good price. Next piece that I got is a Tweed Beige Ann Taylor jacket. Now Ann Taylor is more of a businesswoman type brand. Um, I just thought the jacket was really cute and that it would go with the pair of jeans. It would dress up an outfit really nicely. I figured it would be good for spring, fall, summer nights, um, and it's really versatile. And I would be able to get a, a, a lot of it, and I would be able to get a lot of use out of it. So I couldn't find the original price for this exact jacket, but Ann Taylor is selling a almost identical version of this in the color white and the only difference from this piece and that piece is the, they have three buttons on the side and the new one. So the one on their website is selling for $169. Yes, you heard me right, at $169. Now, personally, I would never pay $169 for a tweed jacket like this. Um, just because I know that there's other places that I can go and find them, which is exactly what I did. So I went to Savers and Savers is a secondhand consignment for a really cheap. Um, I don't purchase everything there. There's, I'm picky about what I get, um, but I saw this jacket and it was really cute. So I got it. So compared to $169 for almost the exact same tweed jacket. I got this for $11.99. Obviously, um, when I purchase things from there, I wash my I wash the clothes before I wear them, and I am happy about that steal. And I'm super happy about that jacket. Next piece that I have is actually jewelry. This is an authentic vintage Gucci night charm, and this is what it looks like. It's really simple. I thought that it has super cool detailing on it and one of these is being sold for $200 online. Now this is an old charm. It goes on to a handbag and I thought it was really cool. So I went on a app called Depop and what it is is mostly vintage clothing, um, stuff that you can sell, stuff that other people sell. So you can buy and sell on this website and they have so many different brands, everything that you're looking for. Um, I thought it was really cool. I got this for $35. I got this for $35 and what I did was I just put it on a gold chain that I had lying around into a cool necklace. So they have tons of things on there, accessories, bags, hats, clothes, shoes, um, they have jewelry, they have a bunch of different things. With this website, depending on where the person lives, if they're in a different country and they don't offer shipping, then it's not available to you. Um, but a lot of places do offer shipping and it's really cheap, so definitely check it out. We'll leave the link in the description below for you to check that out. So, next thing I'm gonna be talking about is bags. And for me personally, I would not purchase 
a bag for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It just doesn't make sense to me. I ruin all of my things. I am not easy on my stuff whatsoever. And I look at someone's thousand dollar Louis Vuitton bag and I'm like, I could literally go on a cruise with that bag. Um, so I'm more about experiences than material things. But again, I do understand investing in a good bag. So with that being said, the first one I'm gonna start off with is actually a Tommy Hilfiger crossbody bag. It's super simple. It has the TH monogram all over it. It is not a brand new bag. Um, I actually got this at Plato's Closet. And for those of you who don't know what Plato's Closet is, it is a secondhand consignment shop that people bring their clothes in and they can make some money from selling them. And they're very specific with what they look for. A lot of people have brought a ton of things in, you know, perfectly fine jeans, clothes, bags, accessories, shoes, whatever it may be. And they only pick certain specific things from the box. Um, so basically they try to do what's on trend. And I could not find the original pricing for this specific bag. It is an out of date season. It's not a brand new bag. Um, but they are selling one very similar on I believe Macy's website for $88 and there is one being sold for $35 the same exact the same exact bag is being sold for $35 by somebody on Amazon well I got this for $10 and I think that it is such an awesome store um, it's definitely somewhere you have to go through and take your time and see what they have available it's hit or miss sometimes it depends what stock they get in um, you know if they have a sale and people pick through everything and you end up going there and finding nothing so it's definitely a place where you have to go in and check it out and see what you can find um, Plato's is more I, I would I don't really know how to say it more upscale than Savers is it's a lot more trendy it's a lot more um, brand name pieces it's a lot more um, fashionable things um, accessories they have a lot more options so I definitely like Play-Dohs over Savers 100% but again you never know what you're gonna find so I just go to all of them the next bag that I got is a Calvin Klein backpack it is heavy I have things in here I did not feel like taking them out um, it's a Calvin Klein bag it has the CK monogram all over it it's a brown and tan leather and it's got multiple zippers different pockets and just the Calvin Klein logo in gold so with this bag it was originally 80 something dollars I threw out my receipt and I cannot find it um, but it was originally 80 something dollars and I got it for $44 which isn't a huge price jump like it's not something out of the ordinary um, it's not something absolutely crazy but I think that save, saving 40 something dollars on a bag is very worth it I got this at Marshall's and um, I got this at Marshall's and I just think it's a really practical bag I can fit my laptop in here I can fit my appointment book in here if I want to go to the beach I can fit all my things in here it's a very roomy bag it has a lot of compartments and it's able to hold a lot and it's just a very nice material it looks nice it's, I think it's very sleek but I definitely like finding stuff like this because it's super cute and it's super affordable and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it next this is probably the biggest save that i've had so far that i've gotten so far on a nice bag so i bought this michael kors bag this is the first michael kors anything that i've ever owned in my life and um i i just like i said before i just don't see the point in spending money on something that i could go somewhere or do something with i would rather spend it on an experience than like a bag but again so I bought this bag and I don't really know what it's called. Um, I know it's probably a, like some type of bag, um, but it is just, it's just a tan leather and it's really nice. And I needed something, I have a bunch of crossbody bags like this and I have like other purses that are like bigger, but they're not big enough to like fit my laptop in. And I just wanted something that looked professional that I could keep my laptop, my appointment book, all my wallets and like different things that I would need and still look good because I was wearing a backpack and not a cute one like the Calvin Klein one. I was wearing like a black backpack that I had gotten from Walmart like a couple years ago with me because I was doing a bunch of paperwork and I was doing a bunch of different things um, that I couldn't fit in my normal purse. So I was just carrying around this black backpack into, into work. 
So this is originally $298. Now, where I got this, I went to New Hampshire to do a bridal party, a wedding that I was booked for. And there was a bunch of different outlets that they had at this particular place and in this particular town in New Hampshire. And they had a Michael Kors outlet. So I figured why not, we'll just walk around and see what they have. When I walked in there, literally, every single thing was 80%. Almost every single thing was 80% off. 60%, 70% or 80% off, which was absolutely crazy to me. I had no idea that they would, that they did that sort of thing. Um, so looking around, I found this bag and I got, and I ended up paying $98 for this bag. I got $200 off, $200 off of this bag. $98 for a Michael Kors purse, hell yeah. And while I was in there, I saw a really cute crossbody bag and I really wanted to keep it for myself, but I got it for my sister. I didn't need another crossbody bag, but it was super cute. I have it with me, my sister obviously has it. But um, it is. it was white and it had um, Michael Kors, it was like about this big. It's white and it had a gold chain on it and it has um, Michael Kors written in gold and it had these really pretty butterfly details um, in white leather and um, gold accents. So I got that. That was that bag was also $298. And I got that bag for $54. Well, I got both bags for $160, which is absolutely insane to me. But what's even crazier is that I forgot New Hampshire doesn't have taxes on retail stuff like this on retail, doesn't have taxes on retail. So I literally paid $160 for this. I did not pay any taxes on these purses whatsoever, which is absolutely crazy. So if you live in a state where you don't have taxes and stuff like that, then girl, you're living, you're living in the right place. And, but it just opened my eyes, you know, when I'm traveling and things like that, that's something to also take into consideration. So it was really cool that I only had to pay $160 for two Michael Kors bags. It was absolutely crazy. Before when I would go shopping, I knew that I needed a, um, a basic things in my wardrobe, basic pieces, versatile pieces. But I would go and I would just buy all these shirts and shorts and shoes that I could only wear with one outfit. And I would look at my closet and say, I have nothing to wear. If one of those things is dirty, I can't wear those the two other pieces of my outfit like it just won't match with anything else so I've been a lot more diligent about what I'm buying I actually look at the piece and think about it and say to myself how many times am I gonna wear this how many things does this go with am I going to use this more than one time um, or for more than one occasion so I've been a lot better Only when you're looking for vintage pieces go on Depop um, if you're looking for, you know, name brand things, um, there's also places like Poshmark, Let Go, people that are just tired of the same old things, if they're in good condition, um, definitely take a look on there because it's so worth, it's so worth sifting through and finding the actual piece that you like, that you want for a good price. Um, thrift shops, consignment shops, secondhand shops, um, outlets, Marshalls, those are all good places to find name brand things and not pay full price for them. So I hope that this helped you guys out. I know it was different from my usual like hair, skin, makeup um, videos, but clothes and fashion are also a really big part of my life. I enjoy them fully. I have so many different styles. I hope these tips were helpful. I hope that um, you guys check those places out and see what you can find. You and if you do find any good deals, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if any of these tips helped you out. Have any other suggestions that I haven't mentioned or don't know about that I should go and check out for different things? Please let me know. I will be more than happy to do that. Um, video and you wanted to see more types of things to have to do with clothes and fashion and jewelry, and please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I will be posting every single Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.